this video is a prediction of the first party games that I think will be announced in the upcoming January Direct. It also happens to be a part two because I just recently made a video about the third party games I think will be announced in this January Direct. You should probably watch that one first just because I clear up a couple of things and I talk about third party games and that's always fun. But anyway, without any further ado, let me just clear up. I know there's no January Direct confirmed at the time I'm recording this, but as I said in the last video, I clear up a ton of things and just explain why I'm 100% positive there will be a January Direct. Without any further ado, let's get into it. What's going on guys, it's Thomas from The Switched Off, here to talk about first party games I think will be coming in the January Direct, and this just means I think they'll be shown off. That doesn't mean I think they will launch in January, obviously, but they will be shown off, and I'll just predict what's going to be shown off, and maybe the release dates and fun stuff like that. So first off, we're getting more information on Kirby and Yoshi. These are the only two games that are confirmed for 2018, and I mean, that's kind of a problem. However, these games both do look pretty fun. Kirby Battlestar Allies is not something I think I'm going to pick up, just because I've never been too into Kirby. But Yoshi, I mean, that game looks really fun. Wooly World was a blast on Wii U, and if this game can have even some of the same charm, which it looks like it's going to have, and it also utilizes this unique flipping mechanic, which flips around the stages, I think it's going to be awesome. But anyway, we're going to get a bit of focus on Kirby, but we already know a lot about the Kirby game, so I don't think we're going to get more than a solid release date for March. And then for Yoshi, I think that's going to be a summer title. I think that's an August type game, and I, I don't know why, I just really have a strong feeling it's going to come out in either August or September, and it, that we're going to get a name and all that stuff. It's just going to get really expanded upon because while we know a bit about it from E3 2017, everything there kind of got overshadowed by Odyssey and Pokemon and Metroid. So it's just great to not only refresh but announce some new stuff such as a name and a release date for probably September or August. Okay, but that's the stuff we already know about. What new things are coming that we don't know about? Well, this one's kind of cheating, but I think we will get a big announcement for Fire Emblem on Switch. We just got Fire Emblem Warriors a little bit ago, and I think that we will probably get our Fire Emblem Switch that everyone's been wanting. It's been almost a year since we got it announced that there would even be Fire Emblem on the Switch. Um, a mainline Fire Emblem, that is. I'm not talking about Warriors. And we've gotten no information on it at all. And it's really weird because normally with Fire Emblem, at least... Um, for the things I remember, there's just been a kind of a steady stream of like little drops of information, but I might be wrong, but I don't think we've gotten barely anything. So I think we're going to get maybe some first actual gameplay, a look into it, and maybe a release date for end of 2018 if we're really lucky, but probably 2019. Then I think what's going to be one of the biggest announcements, I think we're getting Mario Maker 2. I would love a Smash Bros game on Switch, but I think that's not gonna be shown off in a January Direct. I think that Smash Bros will always be something they want to show off at E3, just because, I mean, it's Smash Bros. Mario Maker, however, is an awesome game with an awesome community, and it would be awesome on Switch. However, I don't think it would get the same hype as a Smash Bros port. So I think announcing it in a January Direct would do it wonders because if you announced it in a E3, then it would probably just get overshadowed. But not only are they announcing Mario Maker, they are announcing their entire online service here, boys. This is the big kahuna. We've been waiting for this for a while. This is probably the one thing I am most curious about like what's gonna happen we we know nothing about it we know a little bit of the pricing a little bit of what's gonna come i we know also it's a mobile app and stuff like that but we know nothing beyond that and i really hope and i believe with all my heart that the virtual console will be wrapped into this somehow 
In fact, for those of you who are new subscribers or just missed out on this, one of my favorite videos I've ever uploaded on my channel is a concept uh, video where I made a fake trailer for what the virtual console will be like. And I believe that they will show something very similar to that trailer as soon after they reveal Mario Maker Switch or Mario Maker 2. I'm not sure if it's going to be Deluxe or 2. I'd assume 2 because they've, they've had a bit of time to update stuff and it's not like they have to make too many changes. But never mind, I'm getting off track. They will show a trailer very similar to the one I showed you guys. After they reveal Mario Maker, they're going to be like, well, how do you share these levels with our new Nintendo Switch Online Roll Thomas's trailer? Okay, and you can watch that. Uh, it'll be linked at the end of the video and in the um, top right of the corner right now in the iCards. Anyway, yeah, those are going to be some of the bigger announcements. But as always, I think we will have a, a few smaller ones here and there. I believe we are due for a party game of some sort that is not Mario Party. Believe me, I want a Mario Party on Switch. I want a good Mario Party on Switch, not some of that bullshit where they're on like the same car and it's just terrible. But if we could get a good Mario Party on Switch, that would be awesome. However, we just got the top 100. And even though, yeah, that's not like a real Mario Party game. It, it still probably took a bit of time to develop and so we're not gonna get a brand new one for a bit at least so I think we're gonna get one of those weird ass titles that's like a party game but not really we got a shit ton of these in the Wii slash Wii U era I'm talking about we play we party we party you a Wii Sports Resort Nintendo Land all of those games they all had relatively fun values they were basically what 1-2 Switch tried to be, but failed. And something like that on the Switch, which utilized the Joy-Con's uh, functionalities, would be amazing. And that would by far be an instant pickup for me. Even if the minigames weren't the best, like take Wii Play for example. It had a okay selection of like 8 minigames. It wasn't that good. Like all of them were shit except for the tank minigame and like that one cow racing one. And then there were a couple okay ones. But yeah, the people only really cared about the tank racing one, or at least in my family. If we could even have just one minigame collection like that, where it's like shit, 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 hey, one pretty good game, that would still sell really well because people want that demo or, or that proof of concept, so to speak, to show to people, hey, this is why the Switch is so cool. The Joy-Cons work so well in this setting, this party game setting, but no one wants one to Switch because it's god awful. And last, but certainly, certainly certainly not least pikmin 4 we've been waiting for this game for i don't i don't even know how long it's been confirmed to be almost done since like way the fuck back like 2015 or, or even before that i assume and now it's 2017 we haven't seen a single thing of the game i believe they were holding it back for the switch but now we're past the Switch's launch way past. It's almost going to be its entire first year. We haven't seen anything. Pikmin 4 on Switch would be amazing. Just look back at Pikmin 3. It did so well for the Wii U. The Wii U was a terrible console sales-wise, but Pikmin 3 still did amazing. So take a good selling console like the Switch, release Pikmin 4 in pretty much the prime of its, its lifetime. That game would sell amazing and Hey, we haven't heard anything about it except for that it's almost done, so it needs to be coming out soon. I think this is the perfect place to announce it. Anyway, that's basically the, the big announcements I think are coming from Nintendo. I think if I had to choose correctly, they're going to do some sort of Nintendo Direct highlights thing like they've done in the past, where they just run through a bunch of smaller indie and third party announcements, and then it'll be interspersed with these big reveals that I have listed in this video. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see that concept virtual console video I was talking about earlier, click on the top of video on the screen right now. And if you want to see my third party video that was just like this, but only for third parties, click on the bottom link on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a happy new year. I'm Thomas from the Switch Stop signing off. Slam.